but as a quarterback on the other side, I would not want a team to come out with a regular defense. Yeah, they have five five receivers out there. I get that. But you need to have a good pass rusher, and you need to have put pressure on Mahomes because he can run. Let him run. Get it three deep. I mean, it's all different things. As a former player, you would think maybe if they would have done this, done that. But uh, now we all know that uh, it takes teams to win games, not just a quarterback. And, yeah, there's times quarterbacks do win win. When you have a game like Mahomes and Josh Allen had, oh, my goodness. Hmm. Like they said, the last person with the, the football is going to win that game. That's exactly what happened. Greeny and the great Jim Kelly is with me. C- can you describe that feeling as a great quarterback yourself? You have to have had many games in, in which you just you just knew they couldn't stop you. Like ha- as, as one of the very few people in the world who knows what it feels like to have been Allen and Mahomes that night, what does it feel like when you're doing it and you know there's nothing they can do to stop you? Give me your ball back. Let me have it. I know we're going to take it down the field because you, you get that mindset. And there's times where that mindset, and I think for especially quarterbacks, is when a team is putting pressure on you all game, you're getting hit all the time. It will make you want to throw the ball a little bit sooner than probably you should or want to. Um, the mindset in a quarterback is very important. And you, when you have confidence in your offense line, it's going to give you time. Your receivers are going to get open, and you've been doing it all the time. That is huge. There's no doubt about it. So uh, I, the way it looked for me, from my living room watching it, that's exactly what those quarterbacks were thinking. Get me the ball back. I will score. And uh, that's what you love to see. Even with 13 seconds left. Again, Greeny and, and the great – Jim Kelly, and, and Jim, you are the greatest quarterback in Buffalo Bills history. Of that, there is no question. And, and so I think your opinion on this is particularly valid. I mean, what do we have here in Josh Allen? How, how would you describe what, what you see in him and what you think the future may look like? Very impressive, um, not only on the field but off the field. Uh, impressive as a leader. Um, I've you know talked with him many times, and – He's just one of those guys that you want leading your football team. And he has everything that any quarterback would love to have. He can run, which I I was pretty good maybe one year when I was in midget football. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Josh can do it all. I mean, when you can get outside the pocket, you ha- know the defense is going to have to not only wor- worry about your arm, but you're going to have to worry about his running ability. And that's exactly what you want defense to worry about. And when you start doing that, the receivers start coming open. Um, you get the big play. So it's it's something that uh, I'm, I'm totally impressed. And uh, I don't see any of my records uh, holding up during his career. I think he's going to crush everyone. He's going to crush them all pretty soon. <laughs> and and I, I guess I would ask you this just to sort of wrap up this topic. Like, your, your team's got so close. You, you, no one needs me to run through the litany of it. You had the field, the kick in the air that would have won a Super Bowl, and you lose four straight. And and now here is this team gets so close and falls just short. What what will it be like when it happens? The bill. I, I believe this kid is going to win a Super Bowl in Buffalo. What will it be like when I, that team finally does it? Well, I th- it's weird that you know we're going through this because last year. Um, they went to the AFC Championship game. They lost. Mm. 1988, we went to the uh, AFC Championship and lost to the Bengals. The year after that, we lost to the playoffs. And then the year after that, we wind up going to the four straight Super Bowl. I think 30 years next year. I mean, that's what you got to think. Uh, I think they have confidence that they can do it. Um, and this might motivate them even more uh, than you would think. And I know at least Sean McDermott's not going to let them you know, give up or – the, the vibe that he always has getting these guys ready to play is, is unbelievable. I mean, he, he's amazing. And to be able to do this year after year, we'll find out, of course, in the future. But I have a lot of confidence they keep this uh, team healthy and keep the majority of the players that they have on this team on the roster for the next couple of years. I think their odds are very good. But it's also it's going to come down to he's going to have to face Mahomes probably more and one more time. Yeah, I mean, that, that matchup is – about as good as you could possibly ask. If there is one thing I hope that that will bring you a little bit of joy at some point, it is the ability to have like a really nice steak dinner with your family. Is is does that seem to be in the offing? Uh, it's not going to be with my family because two of my kids, my wife and my daughter Erin, uh, really don't eat steak. Okay. I saw the size of those steaks. Oh my goodness, Green, you went way over. But I'll tell you what, 
a couple of my buddies and, of course, a couple of my brothers, oh, we're going to eat those up and just <laughs> smile and know that it's no longer going to be the J-E-T-S. <laughs> and I, I, I text a lot. I always mess with Joe Namath. We're very good friends, and we always text back and forth. And that video they did, I don't know how many years ago that was, about five years ago, me and my two daughters and uh, um, him and his two daughters, that was one of the best uh, promos for a game I've ever seen. So anybody out, out there wants to go to YouTube, go there and pull up the, the JK, the Jim Kelly, Joe Namath video. It is unbelievable. Let, let's not bury the lead here, Jim. You keep suckering me into this bet every single year. The Jets are terrible. The, the Bills have Josh <laughs> Allen for crying out loud. You're like, like the best team in the world. And we keep making this bet at the beginning of the season that I owe you stakes in the event they lose. I don't even know what you owe me if the Jets win because I have no chance. There might as well not even be stakes, S-T-A-K-E-S, stakes on the other side because we have no – But Jim, you got to give me some odds here or something. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll play – we'll play – you know, think of that next year. Uh, I, last year, I won stakes from um, – this year, I won stakes from L.A. Yeah. Uh, when Bill played Denver. And then, of course, Marino has been in a bad string of bad luck lately. <laughs> so, And then his agent his, – one of his agents told me, well, he doesn't ever remember uh, um, making this bet for this year. Oh, boy, I have already talked to him. So, <laughs> it, it's good. Stakes and stone crab, that's a pretty good combination. So, I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'll give a couple points here and there, but Miami's getting better. You guys are definitely getting better. You'll, you'll be better, so you'll oh, be please. in the competition next year, so uh, we'll see what out. That's, that's how everyone knows you're a nice guy. I mean, come on. <laughs> the, Bills, the Bills are going to dominate that division. All right. Anyway, I, it was an honor to send them to you. I do hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.